What is going on, everyone? Commodore Last here, bringing you guys my live reaction to Jujutsu Kaisen Manga Chapter 187. Now, the chapter is out. We are back from break. We are here today to sit down and read the latest installment of Akatama Gege's Masterpiece. And guys, we've had a five-star classic ongoing before the break. And it's back on Hajime Kashimo versus Kinji Hikari. The time is now, man, to continue on with this fight. Restless Gambler is a domain expansion right now that's just rising up my charts, all right? The jackpots, the gotchas, the immortality, essentially, what this man has right now going for him. A W has to be in sight. I'd be shocked if he doesn't get the W here, unless Kashima does something wild after. But it's been delivered, man. The action's been nonstop. The choreography's been hitting, like... The backbreakers and stuff, man. I mean, just everything about this fight right now has just been hidden for me. I still hold a feeling that this could be one of the best fights, not just in the calling game, but possibly in the series. And so far, the groundwork has been set up, but we have to see how long it's going to last. You know, if it's another chapter or two, possibly. I mean, we have two Titans going after it at the moment, and we're not talking about the Mikiyama. But right here and now, we got to continue on with this chapter that's to come right here and see... How things are going to go, if we're closer to an end or not. But all I know is Restless Gamber has been activated. So long as the jackpot continues as is, a possible W is up for Akari. So, let's get into it. Chapter 187 of Jujutsu Kaisen. It is time. Alright. And, okay, we got a bunch of dialogue here. So, let's prepare ourselves. Because now he's going down the Tagashi route. But we have action, though, that comes with uh, Gege's uh, content. So... Because the sure hit effect of Akari's domain is harmless, the curse techniques information is forcefully transmitted and activated quickly. So same thing we saw what happened with Charles. Now uh, Akashima is about to learn the truth of uh, the monster he's fighting. That guy's curse energy become, became infinite because he hit the jackpot. That activation speed surpasses even Mahito at Shibuya. Bro. If he was here, if Hakari was here during Shibuya, lives could have been saved. Oh man, that is that's is actually crazy to know. Lives could have been saved possibly, but circumstances were different. Obviously, he, he had a job to take care of. He was making money. But man, that, that's... A speed that surpasses the Mahito Shibuya. Unbelievable. Oh, God. The state of his domain directly flows follows from the last time he expanded it. Before Kashimo gave, me, gave up activating Hollow Wicker Basket. And hold on. He first understood the rules of Restless Gambler. So Private Railway Pure Love Train isn't an ST type. It's a probability change loop type. Last time, the guy matched the odd number three. So... As he fights Kashimo, Hakari unleashes his continuous domain expansion. And the translation note says, special type machines result in probability shifts. Which makes sense because there is times where Gotcha's uh, done stuff like this as well. And I, I believe, yeah, it goes out too with the um, the jackpots. When probability change loop type only as some jackpots use the odd five, trigger the probability shift, but it can be changed for fever mode. And the old oh, Hikari is doing the Yakuza! He took off the jacket. He said, Ron, this is swag out. Look at him, bro. The physicality. In other words, the next thing on his route to a guaranteed jackpot is. And you just see there all the ticket little, uh, the, 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 the register area. Like when you're going in past like the gates and stuff, all of them things are just open it up, man. It's just literally going to be like, uh, a mixture of like unlimited blade works and, uh, uh, Kyokasu, not Kyokasu, the, um, Senbun Zakura Kageyoshi. Thank God I remember the name now. I was about to forget that name of Yakuya, but it reminds me of that. This is happening. Oh, God. Yo, look at the double. Hold on. Enter probability change. Aiming for a dealer repeat. And you look at the top, you see like a bunch of like, well, the waifus are pulling up now. So I, I guess, you know, my man has his, uh, has his taste with the gotchas too. And I, I don't know if we're going down the FGO, the Genshin Impact route. But the art looking crispy right now, though. Like, look, Hikari looking great. And I like this shot here with Kashimo. But you see a bunch of the girls here in the swimsuits. 
as they're right beside him. This man has this menacing face on. Like, all right, bro, you want to test me and stuff? Let's go. It looks like you're in good shape. Sure, I am. How about you? The Tokyo number two, Colony, part six. No shit. You're no longer immortal at the moment. Right. Okay, so now, okay, so that's what probably what happened right here. So he, the probability change is going on. So in the state, when it's like the rounds are changing up, is when he does go with Moro, but at the part, the part where it's like the middle section where it's going to change in the odds and stuff, at that moment, he is mortal again. So, and what's the translation here? Renchan is a Mahong uh, term from when the dealer wins and retains the dealer position for the next round. But he is absolutely ripped, though. Like, I don't know what workouts the man will be doing, but you got to put me on the program because <laughs> we need to get in there. Oh, look at the well, yeah, this is, the break was needed, but look at the art right now. These two look clean, gambling responsibly or whatever. It's impossible. Fine words, if you can say the same thing. And they are going at it with the hands. Look at the look. You see the little mark right there when it shows like the characters dashing, Hakari noticing it, and with the backhand strike from Kashimo. Comes in with the, like a hit from the top, hit from the bottom afterwards, almost like a little backhand fist. And then Hakari looks like he was gonna go and try hit one himself, but he gets grabbed on right there by uh, Kashimo. Hey, oh, okay, okay. So from what basically looks like right there, Ka uh, Kashimo comes in like it's like switching from the back, kind of like where they're uh, rotating positions, and comes in afterwards with the elbow right to the back of the neck. Wait, hold on, hold on, no, no, yeah, keep going, <laughs> yo, he's on the shamanic gimmick, man, a man just took, like, one hit, he's like, ah, he's, like, hulking up, and you just see, like, what's it, broken glass or something, hold on, like, broken glass, because you see a reflection right here, what him when we got hit, is he altering reality, hold on, Kasha was like, he's like, what, Nani, like, no, he, There's no shot. He's got a reality thing. Hold on. Pseudo spins can re-roll a single sequence. Because of the previous activation of Pure Luck Train, the probability of a jackpot exceeds 20%. It's an extremely high hype preview. Since it normally carries a high risk of being a dud, Akari usually wouldn't use them outside of a probability change. And pseudo spins is a situation where it looks like the number has stopped, but it actually hasn't. Oh my god. And he is just going in at this point. He just says, don't care. Here we are. And Kashimo, even though he get the block, is able to get some hits back in afterwards. So it's not... No, but it don't matter. <laughs> Wait. Oh, Kashimo, stop, 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 stop. He goes in with the knee to the head. And you see the blood spilling out. And no, no, no. He's the truth. He's the truth. He's like, keep going. Bruh, and you used to see right here, I believe it's one of the other girls from the, um, from the switch suit thing there, like Reach, uh, number six, Sakai, Sayaka Yamaguchi, so using a different, uh, I don't know if it's, he's still using Love Train or is it actually, hold on, is he still using Love Train or is he using like another series here, because I don't know if it said the name, yeah, it doesn't say the name over here when it shows like the girls and stuff after, but, but he, he just says no, like he just, you're gonna get hit hitting me as much as you want, but I'm still standing, and they are glowing. I'm telling you, this is like some JoJo-esque, like, aura. The Nen something. Hockey, whatever it is. They are pouring hockey right now. Is about to go in. Hiro, this this train won't stop until Shin Yuri, Yurigaoka. He, you can see the agitation right there on the costume. It's like, God damn, bro, stop it. It's the accidentally on a tr express train reach. As long as the characters make it to Shin Yurigaoka station without anything happening... It'll be a jackpot winning reach action. Yo, the dub, bro. And wait. Okay. Bro, the sign breaks completely. It gets restored. And yeah, so basically every time it looks like he's going to try and stop him, it just goes right back in like for it to happen. Whew. I finally made it. Again, sixes again are happening. And Kashimo now getting excited. Now it looks like things are switching up a bit, it seems. Did they just change locations? It looks like Tokyo Tower or something in the back. Music. 
starts. Yo, hold on, hold on. Now the aura is just pouring out completely. I, grown man style. I don't know what else I can put it into, but all you just see there is the curse energy just pouring out from Hakari as Cosmo just takes a stance and just is beholding the greatness that is coming out right now. It's begun. The four minutes and 11 seconds of invi- Okay, so that's what it- All right, fair enough. The four minutes and 11 seconds of invincibility mode after winning a jackpot. With unlimited curse energy, it becomes fully automatic reverse curse technique. Which is crazy because, like, even though he doesn't technically have it by definition, when it goes into the state, he can even do that, which is how he got his arm back, which is still crazy. But this jackpot matched even numbers. Even if he expands his domain, the, the moment the four minutes and 11 seconds are up, the probability change will have ended. And it won't be an immediate jackpot like this one. So if I can get out of this four minutes and 11 seconds, I win. But that's what a small fry would think. Oh my god, the grin too, he knows what's coming. And the lightning is pouring out as this man Akari is just waiting with the chill poles and the Jojo and everything in. Turn up the music and prepare your living funeral. Oh my god, the lightning that face in these four minutes and eleven seconds. I will slaughter even an immortal like you. Look at the craziness in this dude's face. He is dead set on actually trying to pull this off. Akari looks like calm. Like, he's smiling and everything, but it's more of a calm smile. This man, Kasuhiro, just has, like, the madness pouring into him as the lightning is coming out. Bro, what in the hell is going on? Oh my, what is going on? <laughs> what is going on, dude? Is this a is this supposed to be a hallucination? A back? It looks like the the past. Cause I see a certain individual here with the scars on his head. This ha- no, this has to be either- look, I don't see the black backgrounds. I have to remember this when it comes to flashbacks. Black backgrounds are what tell you you're in the past or flashback. He is seeing- <laughs> If his life is flashing before his eyes, oh my god. But you see nothing but bodies, looking like almost like the Edo period and stuff, and it would fit in with, you know, 400 years or so that, um, freaking Kashimo was around and stuff at that time. But you see a dude here with the scars, Kenjaku- Yes. Did you have fun? Not at all. I really should have challenged you back then. Spare me. I'm not in the mood to fight right now. So this is another person that uh, can drop. I don't know who this individual is that he took over. But, um, but that has to be him from back then. Because remember, he took a vessel to represent somebody right now of the current era and stuff, even though this is probably what he actually looked like in the past and stuff, you know, in his first life. And whoever this person is, is someone that Kenjaku took over after the fact. I don't know. I heard something, uh, I heard about something interesting in Mutsu province. There's someone in the date domain with the greatest curse energy output in history. Is that Ch is that Chozo's family, bro? The dude's face looks so much like the brother. Oh my god! Is that the family? Is those are the pieces we're about to find with Chozo, freaking um, the brothers and stuff, basically. And I, see that this is what happens. We're not gonna remember names. The brain's already been imploded. We're done. Whatever. If we're if we're getting some kind of thought here and there, then be thankful. 
The dude has the brother's face, the one that they can't just can't just Esso. There you go. Thank you. Thank you. Thank, thank God the enemy exists because it helped me remember the names. Catches it with Ezzo. He has catches his face. Or no, no, Ezzo's face. Because he was the one screen catches it was the one with the, the block. He has Ezzo's face. And I'm assuming that woman is the one that Kenjaku did the deed. That did the thing. Bro. That has to be a true canon. It has to be. If this is what it is, this is probably what it is right here we're getting. Mutsu. That's quite fair. Ca okay, so it's sort of like he's about to meet his end. There's no time left to be cautious. Kenjaku, who is the strongest sorcerer you know? Sukuna. That was 600 years ago. I'm sorry, but it's indisputable. Is that so? Then I'm willing to accept your offer. This way... I can challenge Sukuna. Oh God! Oh God! We're about to see the pioneer. We're about to see it. Transcending the distance of time, a thirst for battle awakens. Do you know what this is? You're fighting Musashi Miyamoto right now in the current time, in basic form. We're about to see the true version of Hashmi Kajimo. About to go it. Oh my god. This, bro, wait. There was a translation that I need to see here. Mutsu province is a historical province of Japan covering most of the northern Hoshu from 654 to 1869. And located in northern Mutsu province. Okay, so I'll just feel like the, the area. Which area send that? Okay, so. Which is even crazy. Oh my god. Oh my god, because if I'm not mistaken, yeah, no. No, I need to, hold on. There, There is, I just need to confirm on one thing. Because if it is so, then it's, uh, where is it? If this might confirm actually something that's, uh, for a certain character. Yeah, oh my god, it is. Oh my god. It is, it's, yeah, because he's from Sendai. Oh my god, it ties even further deep, dog. It, it, yo, it, it is Chelsea catches you with Esso's mom, and, and I'm guessing, like, uh, whoever that individual is and stuff is the one that eventually Kenjaku ends up taking over, and then the thing, it had to be, it has to be. There's no way that you go with Mutsu, and then and it's supposed to be later on, like, involving Sendai and stuff, like, that's what it becomes after. There is no way you throw that in there just for fun. During this whole thing with Kashimo, and, and not mean nothing, no, it means something. Like... But who is, this is the only thing, is who is this individual that Kenjaku took over? Like, bro, but this, this pedo goes so insane. Like, this is probably one of the coldest double spreads, like, that top half of nothing but bodies. And you've seen, like, Kenjaku either descending or like, just walking onto the field and then Cosmo just laying by the tree stump across a battlefield of blood. Oh my god, what a return this was, dude. No, but this stuff right here, I mean, no. Wait, is there... Okay, I was about to say, I thought there was a writing on the uh, on the pipe and stuff. Like, something that would have gave it, like, uh, even something even further. But the facial expressions and stuff has to tell me this is the, um, the brother's uh, family. Like, everything... Because, again, we don't know the woman's name and stuff. We don't... Like, saw, like, the, the silhouette. A certain woman and stuff, something happened. And then it led to the... Um, to the whole, uh, freaking, the curses and stuff, like, the, the brothers and stuff coming to be, you know? This is an insane chapter, bro, oh my lord. Like, the play itself was already going in, and obviously, like, if you were a gotcha enjoyer and stuff, like myself, when it comes to Genshin, FGO, and all that, you definitely had a good time with it, and of course, the physicality, the choreography going in, but the most, honestly, as much as this fight's been hitting, this last, like, it's already just trying to kill me. It's already trying to kill me. This last part of the chapter, flipping to, the, like, the past in terms of, like, him seeing his life flash before his eyes, I assume, or he's in his own, like, innate domain, kind of similar to what happened with Panza. Um, seeing, like, you know, um, with uh, Yaga, 
with uh, the brother and sister and stuff. I'm seeing into, like, thinking back on the past itself. The, the, bro. But it's almost like Kenjaku basically was telling of what his next plan was. Like, I heard something in Shimutsu province in Sendai that there's someone in the day, Dante Domain, with the greatest character's output and energy output in history of true canon. Like, he was basically telling him what my next plan was going to be, and it's going to involve eventually with the brothers and stuff coming into existence. This man Giga came back and dropped heat. As per usual, but this is a different type of meal we just got. Because now it's like you've just given us an answer in terms of like what happened, who the people are involved and stuff, and the timeline of when things were actually going down. Because then also it will align too with when Choso and them were like, or technically like how long they've been around and stuff. But this is this is actually nuts, man. And now we're about to see Kashimo finally go in. I mean, he wanted to know who was the strongest possibly alive. And we know it's Sukuna. Sukuna was... I cannot wait to see Sukuna in the past. Like, whenever we get the Heian era arc, which uh, I don't know if it's going to be, like, an actual seeing the past itself and, like, what was going on back then a thousand years ago. But I need that arc just so I can follow the, the footsteps, the point of view of Sukuna, of what was going on, and see the monsters he was fighting. But right now... One of Legend is about to come into this fight against Hakari, and it is my tip to scale. So unless something happens where Hakari has another level that we don't know about, like the domain expansion rate as it is now with Restless Gambler is formidable. This honestly feels like a turning of the tides, and it might end up going into the favor of Kashimo. We're really about to feast. This really is about to be one of the best fights in the series. And you know, ending a chapter like that, it definitely tells it, man. Like, we're about to we're about to go in. This series, man. Oh, my God. But, yo, guys, I need to know your thoughts in the comments regarding this chapter. And where are we at right now in terms of what we're seeing before us? Like... Let me know what you think of the fight so far. I mean, we've enjoyed it last week, the end of the previous chapter four when they arrived, uh, with Hakari and stuff, and then getting to see everything that's happening. Let me know where is the fight for you right now? Like, how much are you enjoying it? How, how are you feeling too about the whole stuff with the gotcha and everything now that we're getting like this whole stuff with the um, with the girls and everything, and how they're all trying to do the jackpots and everything that's going on, like all that, but mainly so. This stuff from the double spread to the end of the chapter. Are you of the same belief that I am right now? That those two people are in fact the parents. And eventually one being the host afterwards again for Kenjaku. For Choso, Kechizu, and Izo. And the rest of the siblings. Like, Are you of the belief of that? And right now... Does this turn the entire fight on its head and just giving Kashimo an opportunity to basically take the lead against Hakari? And if so, how in God's name is Hakari going to overcome it? How is that going to happen? I need to know what you can predict in terms of where this fight is going to end, how it's going to end. Because I'm going to be thinking about it for quite some time, but it's going to be difficult to uh, amass some kind of answer. Because it can go in any direction. But I'm curious on what you guys think down in the comments below. Any clarification, anything you want to expand upon in the chapter that I may be missing out on. Or something you want to provide because it, you know, it adds more to it. But yeah, just do that in the comments below. Like the video if you enjoyed. Subscribe to the channel if you guys are new here. If you want to be part of the weekly experience. When it comes to my coverage of Jujutsu Kaisen week in week out, there ain't no better time than right now. Right now, we are witnessing greatness unfold as we have been for the last 187 chapters. But in particular right now, we are entering a stretch right here that could be handing us one of the best fights in the series that gives us information possibly of the past 
about things that we've been needing answers for for quite some time. If you want to be here for this week in, week out, man, there's no better time than now. Subscribe if you haven't already. Click on the bell of Shandora. See if the, everything goes on the channel. With that being said, I will catch you guys next week. We're going to be in this chair. We're going to be witnessing possibly Kashima going in on Kari. Probably just beating the life out of him. If he's going in the old man state and reawakening what it meant to be as a fighter. Transcending the distance of time. I mean, dude. We're about to witness greatness unfold. And someone is about to get put on the shirt. I don't know if it's going to be Kashimo. I don't know now if it's going to be Akari. But all I know is the real winner in this whole thing is all of us, as we should. Commodore Lad signing off. Thanks so much for watching. And as always, take care. Going crazy, yeah,